What's going on guys? My name is Will Ross and I'm a 21 year old college student trying to achieve financial freedom. If this is your first time on my channel, I would really appreciate you hitting the like button and consider subscribing as it really does help me out and I'm trying to grow. Now, as a college student, this can be relatable. I always try to look for a new way to make an extra dollar. Now, I'm going into my senior year of college, so I thought I would give you my top three ways that I made a side hustle living um, while doing school pretty much full time. Now, the key point I want to make to this is that these are all side hustles, as in they're not going to make you as much money as a regular nine to five would. Um, obviously, that's in the name side hustle. It is definitely nice to have that extra source of income for you to use on anything you need, um, whether it's a fun weekend with friends or just extra food. Now, jumping right into number one is DoorDash or any rideshare food delivery services. During my time in college, I found that a lot of kids just like to stay in and order food, which is perfectly fine. But I thought to myself, well, why wouldn't I just apply to be a driver and make that extra money if I'm not doing anything myself? Now, normally I wouldn't do these on weekdays. Usually I'd be swamped with school and just going to the gym, hanging out with friends, whatever, like it may be college stuff. But on the weekends, I found myself with a lot of free time and I figured why not try to make some extra money. DoorDash driving has done that for me and honestly, it's my number one for a reason. It's fun, you work on your own time and you make a decent amount of money doing it. Now you're not gonna be making hundreds and hundreds of dollars every single day door dashing, but it's definitely nice to have that extra 20, 30, 40, maybe 50 bucks. And if you're in college like me, I think you can agree that's a lot of money for us. Now DoorDash is just one option. There's DoorDash, there's Postmates, there's Uber Eats, there's all kinds of things you can apply for. I just did DoorDash and I know personally that for me, it has worked out amazing. I love their customer service, the way they handle um, their communications with drivers, the pay, um, just everything about it. Now that's number one. Number two I wanted to talk about was something that I'm trying to do right now. Obviously this is my first video, but it's creating a YouTube channel. This is something that I've been wanting to do for forever and honestly sitting in front of a camera, I'm so glad that I'm finally doing it. Um, if you have a phone, you're already ready to go. I'm filming this on my iPhone 11. If you have anything that has a camera on it, you're pretty much fine, ready to go. Now, in order to start actually making money on YouTube, I think you need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 public hours watched in the past year or something like that. Now, I can't really speak to this considering I don't have a thousand subscribers yet and this is my first video, but it's something that I'm definitely trying to work on and something that I'm excited to work on. Um, it's something that I can do in my free time and hopefully it gives me an ROI in the future. My final and I think my favorite option on this list in terms of having fun is flipping items on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. I've had a ton of experience in the past year just trying this out. I've bought like $20 couches and flipped it for 50 and while that $30 profit may not seem like a lot, it gives you the motivation and drive to want to do it more. One cool option on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist is that you can search up actual like free items and go pick it up locally. There's tons of people that just don't want a couch, don't want a futon or just any furniture. It doesn't have to be furniture, just like appliances, anything like that. Anything that you think is worthy of being flipped, you can go pick it up for free and it's right nearby. Now, this does require a little bit of work. You're definitely gonna have to be driving around um, for bigger items. You may need a truck, you may need a friend with a truck, but you don't have to start with big items. You can start by going to garage sales, getting toys, books, anything that you think may be flippable and just doing like that and doing it on the weekends with friends. Again, this is something you can do socially. Like I love to bring my roommates into things like this because we're having fun. We're out on the town. We're going to get stuff. We're having a fun time, but we're also trying to make money at the same time. And that's super rewarding in my eyes. Now, a goal that I like to hit uh, in, let's say if you're going to flip four to five hours a random Saturday morning or afternoon is to try and hit a 50 to $100 profit. This could be achieved by buying one thing and selling it for 50 to 100 dollars which i've done before and that's the best or just buying like 10 15 20 different things and selling them all for like five to ten dollar profit which is definitely doable i'll put a screenshot up here something that i found on facebook marketplace for free that i could go pick up right now and sell for profit so that about wraps up my list of my top three things i like to do as side hustles as a full-time college student Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this is my first video. I would really appreciate you hitting the like button, subscribing. It helps me out tremendously. Um, this is something I definitely want to grow. So if you want to follow me on my journey to financial freedom, please feel free to do so. Thank you for watching. Peace.